In this video you will learn about assemblies as well as how to mate bars to create sections of a robot. Let's begin by creating a new assembly in which we'll be using the short and outer C channels. Notice the two new tabs in the command manager, assembly and layout. You can pin down the begin assembly menu and click browse to select a part to insert. If you have accidentally closed the menu, you can go to the assembly tab and select insert component. Click Browse and select the outer C-channel, then click anywhere to place it. Notice that the assembly has its own coordinate system, different than the one in the part. Also, notice the F at the first component. This means that the part is fixed or cannot move relative to the coordinate system of the assembly. Click Insert Components to add a short C-channel. Click somewhere in the workspace to place it. This part has a minus sign because it is underdefined. That means that it can move relative to the assembly. In order to assemble the two parts, we have to use mates, which are relations that indicate how two surfaces or points are connected. Click on Mate. Here you have the standard mates as well as other sets of mates that we will use later. Let's quickly demonstrate them. First, you need to select the two entities to mate, which you can do directly from the workspace or from the Feature Manager, which is now shifted on the screen. Notice how the underdefined part moves so that the two planar faces satisfy the constraint imposed by the mate. Coincident, which means they are in the same plane, parallel or perpendicular, or at a certain distance or angle. You can also flip the measurement direction or the alignment of the mate. The concentric mate is usually used with arcs and circles, and makes them have the same center or axis. While the tangent mate is used between curves or circular surfaces and lines or planar surfaces. To edit or delete a mate, expand the mates folder in the feature manager and right click. Let's now start our robot base. Click mate and select the U face of the short channel and the outside face of the outer channel as shown. The default mate is coincident. Notice that the faces appear in the mate selection box. Click OK. Now select the U face of the outer channel and the outside face of the short channel as shown. Flip the mate alignment if necessary, then click OK. The part is still moving, so we need to add another mate in order to restrict that. Select the faces as shown and click OK to make them coincident. The part's position is now fully defined. Let's insert the other two channels and mate them. Another useful tool for mating is the Rotate View tool. You can find it by going to Assembly, Move Component and Rotate Component. Simply click and drag the components to rearrange them and make the mating process easier. Now go ahead and complete the rest of the robot base. Remember that there are countless ways to mate the parts and still obtain the same assembly. Now let's take a minute to review some other important mates. Click on Mate and go to Advanced Mates. The symmetric mate forces two similar entities to be symmetrical about a plane or planar face. Similarly, the Width Mate is used for mating parts that are not perfectly fitted, by selecting the two outer faces of a part and the two inner faces of another part. With the Limit Mate you can provide a range of values for distances and angles, instead of a specific value like in the Standard Mate. In this lesson, we learned how to use various mates available in SOLIDWORKS to create sections of our robot.